President Donald Trump threatened to cut aid to countries that voted against the United States for recognizing Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. Critics argue Trump's attempt to strong-arm the United Nations is proof that the U.S. is no longer the leader of the free world. But others say America is stronger than ever under Trump. Why should the U.S. have to fund countries that don't support it? Trump is just using the leverage we already have to put America first. What do you think? Perspectives Trump threatened to cut aid to any country that voted against the United States for recognizing Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. UN Ambassador Nikki Haley wrote she would be taking names of countries that voted for the resolution. Let them vote against us, he said, well save a lot. We don't care. But this ISNT like it used to be where they could vote against you and then you pay them hundreds of millions of dollars, he said. We're not going to be taken advantage of any longer. Our great citizens who love this country are tired of this country being taken advantage of we're not going to be taken advantage of any longer. Critics believe the Trump administration's decision to recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel, coupled with the threats made to countries ahead of the UN vote, is proof that America no longer leads. Diplomats at UN are stunned that Trump Haley are resorting to intimidation threats rather than diplomacy on Jerusalem vote. Unger Farnaz Fassi he at Farnaz Fassi he December 20, 2017 in less than a year. Trump has taken the U.S. from leader of the free world to international pariah. It's a disgrace. Unger Kyvin Schroff. At Kyvin Schroff December 21, 2017 our government is willing to jeopardize every diplomatic effort, every dialogue and every peace process just to please Israel. America cannot expect to lead the world by threatening other nations of being inconsiderate to their positions. Unger UNSC Deep State HTTPS Cox 9 Egij Brave New World at Club I on December 21, 2017 but others argue Trump is being perfectly reasonable. B. U.S. contributes an enormous amount to the U.N. budget, should NT that buy us some leverage. Trump is simply following through on his promise to put America first. We contribute more to the U.N. than 175 member states combined. Amazing how we have all the leverage, yet past admins have let rogue countries abuse our interests and allies unchecked. Enough is Enough. Ungapic.twitter.com Spa Jordan Shaktel at Jordan Shaktel, December 21, 2017 The UN will not dictate where at real Donald Trump puts the United States Embassy. Period. Telling these sorry countries that they need to support us so they won't receive our money ISNT bullying. It's common sense. Unger Alexander Bruzewitz at Alexander Brooks, December 21, 2017 Dear UN General Assembly, we will put our embassy wherever. We damn well please. Deal with it. America PS pay for your own damn parking tickets Thursday thought Sunga the Columbia. Bugle at Columbia Bugle December 21, 2017 The TYLT is focused on debates and conversations around news, current events and pop culture. We provide our community with the opportunity to share their opinions and vote on topics that matter most to them. We actively engage the community and present meaningful data on the debates and conversations as they progress. The TYLT is a place where your opinion counts, literally. The TYLT is an advanced digital, Inc. property. Join us on Twitter at Thetalt. Or on Facebook. We'd love to hear what you have to say.